Hey, welcome guys. Now in this section, uh, we will be studying the test document of a GIS. Uh, this is actually the FAG factory acceptance document, and we will see uh, going. We will go through it, and we will see uh, what type of tests are performed in the factory of uh, for the GIS. So let's go through it, and we will see what tests are performed this is the formality you can also I will also provide this uh, in, in the uh, source okay list of participant then they are uh, attaching their drawings uh, test procedure is attached visual inspection uh, they will do the following test dialectic condition test after that uh, they will do power frequency with standard voltage powered partial discharge measurement power frequency with stand voltage partial discharge measurement pressure test of buried insulator what is pressure test we will see uh, summary of test results and then uh, many pictures so let's move on to the next test list of uh, data technical data of the test object okay so this is test object is five barrier insulator and support insulator for SF6 gas insulating insulated metal enclosed switch gear. This is the basically test object. And they are, the, this is the designation. Uh, they are providing the name plate data, manufacturer details. This is also very useful for you. You can study. Uh, they are mentioning the drawings. Further, it is also important to note down the serial number to make sure the same product is delivered to you. Drawing of test object is mentioned here. This is what they are doing testing. Okay, this is phase support insulator. So I guess you can guess this. What is this item? Test procedures. Okay, they have applied 20 degree and see the suspend is okay. Start of temperature cycle. Okay, they have applied different temperatures and check the healthiness of the separator. Visual inspection. They have done the dialectic test uh, at power frequency. They have done the dialectic test up to 310 kV for 72 seconds no they should not be a breakdown so this is the arrangement F is enclosure I is insulator so this is insulator they have grounded and apply voltage to the insulator then they have done the partial discharge and they have done power frequency withstand test voltage again partial discharge pressure test for barrier insulator and they have applied some bars and up uh, test should be stand for greater than or equal to 70 seconds uh, after direct condition check all barrier insulators are tested with two times design pressure so design pressure is 6 to 7 bars so they have applied 13.5 bars so as I told you that uh, in a GIS there are compartments and in the compartment in between there is a barrier so this barrier is should withstand two times the rated uh, pressure of the compartment so they are applying at one side this much pressure so it should withstand for 72 seconds okay then we have summary and then at the end we have pictures this is the object they are using applying here the thermal test this is the pressure test so this was little introduction this you can study and update yourself thank you